Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to yet another blog from myself, Patient Time. How are you guys? Uh, I'm good. Hope you're well. So yes, it is Tuesday, the 24th of July. I know I said I was going to be doing all my vlogs on Mondays, and it is in fact Tuesday, not Monday. Uh, apologies. This is going to go up late anyway, unfortunately, because I'm currently uploading many, many gigabytes of things, and uh, moving house has not been particularly kind to my upload speed, unfortunately, but I'm looking at improving that, which I guess is something I'll talk about. Oh man. Talk about in this vlog. Sorry, excuse the hiccups. Apparently this jump will also be featuring in all my vlogs, but hey, that's okay. Actually, let me turn this mic phone up a little bit. I think that's a bit better. Okay, so I'll try not to talk too loud. I might blow some people's ears off, otherwise. Yes, my normal speaking voice, which is very low, kind of droney, is not not <laughs> not nearly like my casting voice. So yes, when I do vlogs, I think boosting the mic up is probably a smart thing. Anyway, that's not particularly interesting. What is interesting is that it's been a ridiculously long week. Actually, it's been a long two weeks. Um, last week was really long. Um, well, geez, was it even last week? But it wasn't. No, it was the week before last. So two weeks ago, we had. The, um, I already talked about it in my first vlog. Um, I moved house. We had GSC and ESG in winter. It all went well, and we had a week pass. And then this last weekend, we actually had M Wave Two as well, which is a really sweet tournament. Uh, big ups to the admins um, at the uh, for the M Wave Two tournament. Uh, actually, quick shout out to Zephyrus as well, who did a ton of admining work at Eastern Winter. He got really mad that I didn't mention him. So, shout out to you, buddy. He did an awesome job. He not only admined most of the day, or most of both days, but he also played and came third in like, playing in his team as well. So, that guy's a beast. He did a lot of work, and a big shout out to Zeph there. But yeah, the uh, the running of M Wave 2 went really well. We had 32 teams sign up, and we managed to finish at 6 p.m. both days. Um, and day two was nothing but finals. We had back to back to back finals. We had the losers bracket, the winners bracket final, the losers bracket final, and then the grand final, and it was really, it was a really good way to, to break up the tournament. I'm glad it was two days because trying to run a one day tournament, especially with that many teams, is really, really hard. Unless you make it single alien, which people hate, um, which I guess isn't the worst thing in the world, but some people just don't like single alien, and I understand that. So yes. There's, that's how that went. It was a good tournament. Uh, I'm still uploading the VOD again. This is why this is late. If you're watching or list watching slash listening to this, that's probably what's up. And yeah, I've got many, many things to upload, and I have an abysmal upload speed right now. I figured out why, and I've already looked to upgrade my internet, which is good. But streaming over the weekend was really, really difficult, and we just managed to kind of eke out enough of a stream, which was good, but the quality is not nearly as good as it could be. And it's not even the quality so much, and that's just, it doesn't feel as stable. Um, just because, pretty much, if there's ever a spike in the upload speed, problems start. So, yeah, um, hopefully that's getting gonna get fixed. I've ordered a new router, I've ordered uh, an upgrade as well to the existing account. Um, the actual difference, I discovered this today, doing some reading and uh, some research about internet, is that uh, apparently broadband speeds, which we have, I have broadband cable at this house, which is awesome in terms of download speed. It's two, at least two times faster than where I was before, and I'm getting sick ping as well to the NA client. I'm actually getting 166 to 160 consistently, which is probably the best you can get in Australia in terms of pinging to that server. So that's awesome when I play the game, and I'm, um, you know, downloading stuff's all really fast, but upload speed, not exciting. And apparently ADSL2 just has a naturally higher up, uh, upload speed, and I was on ADSL2 before. I had an uh, upload speed of almost 1. I had 0.89 or 0.9. And I have 0.5 here, so and 0.5 is just not runnable at all. I think 0.7 is probably the minimum I'd ever want to have to stream on, and um, I'm hoping that the upgrade will get me one or higher, because a stable one is very very sexy, and that should make everything all nice, and smooth and funky, and up the quality a little bit as well. Because the quality of my last place was um, it wasn't great, but it was okay, um, and I think for an Australian streamer it was fine, uh, and most importantly it was stable and it stayed happy and fun and the quality was good, so that's fine. Hopefully, again, we'll be jacking that up, so I'm expecting my new router to come in a few days. In fact, when you listen to this, it'll probably be arriving. I have arrived, or very close to arriving, because, again, this will go up late, because it has to go up after all the other worlds have gone up, which I'm expecting to take, actually, 24 hours, which is why I really need to upgrade my internet, because it's taking a ridiculously long, long amount of time to upload anything which sucks, because then I don't get to do fun things like play League of Legends, or do pretty much anything on my computer. I just have to uh, do stuff offline, or chat, that's all I can do. I can browse, I can browse web pages, but even that's irritatingly slow. It's not, it's not bad, it's just irritatingly slow. 
So yeah, the internet's getting upgraded, which is a good story. So if you guys have been watching the streams over the, for the MWF2 event, if you've been watching them for uh, and the face check as well, which was on Monday, then you will have seen just how bad it was. But we had a really great tournament, actually. We had uh, 110 viewers, I think, at peak. Uh, I actually have to check that. I'm going to go back and check that. But yeah, we had 110 viewers watching watching the channel. Also, the first time I ever on commercial breaks as well, which is awesome, because uh, the ESG and Oz Twitch TV channel is partnered. So I was on breaks and all that cool stuff, and it was great. And I had a lot of good feedback. even had some people outside of Australia tuning in as well. So big shout-out to all the foreign fans, because we love you. We love you very, very much. And yes, uh, other than that, uh, ESL Australia is chugging along nicely. I... I'm not as heavily involved in, in an admin role as possibly that I'd like, but that's just because I tend to leave the actual admin stuff to people that are capable of doing it. If someone asks me to do something, I'm sure I can find a way to do it, but giving me any sort of self-direction, especially in an administrative role, is a horrible thing to do, and um, I'm actually just sitting on my title of broadcaster at the moment, and currently there's no broadcast, so... Hard to hard to hard to be head broadcaster of ESL when there's no broadcast. Oh, ESL Australia, I should say. Um, yes, hard to be head broadcaster of ESL Australia, which I believe is my official title. I certainly hope so because it's very fancy. But yes, hard to be head broadcaster of ESL Australia if I don't have anything to broadcast. But uh, hopefully the rollout for the Go for Lol and all the all the tournaments and stuff that are planned um, is will be in August. So we're in, uh, just at the end of July. Hopefully in a week or two or three at the most. Um, we'll have go and stuff set up, so the ESL stuff will start rolling out. Um, hopefully as well the stream will be really good. I can't give details exactly as to why it would improve, but I may be looking at streaming from a remote location, aka not my house, um, and getting a better upload speed, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll obviously try and do what we can, because Australian internet's just fun like that. Just very, very fun. Uh, I can't... I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about stuff that's coming up, but I can tell you this stuff coming up. That's pretty much what I can tell you. Is um, Obviously, when it gets announced, I'll be able to say some more details, but if you are a League of Legends player in Australia, there's lots of cool stuff coming up. Uh, one thing I am allowed to talk about is the Alienware Arena tournament that's coming up. That's League of Legends, Dota 2, and TF2, which is going to be awesome, and it's going to be like an ANZ championship as well at the end of it. It's like four weeks of playoffs. It's a month, a month-long tournament. Well, playoff, playoff, playoffs, and then I believe the top eight teams advance and they get to fight it out, which is pretty sweet, and it'll kind of be like the first Australian New Zealand Championships ever for LOL, which is awesome, like official one as well. Obviously, you know, a lot of the New Zealand players play on Australian teams or play on, because there's no restrictions like that. Um, we, would, I actually don't know if there's any restrictions at all on players playing from other countries. I know CG Ladder is open to everybody, just as an example, but even the Australian tournaments, obviously, the Kiwis are out to play, because we love them. Love you guys. Shout out to New Zealand. <laughs> um, yeah, so that'll be cool, just to kind of have a a regional ANZ championship, which is very, very cool. So that, that'll be awesome. Um, GameStar are handling the Australian leg of that broadcast, because I think it's in other regions as well. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this, but I'm telling you now anyway, apologies. But yes, the GameStar crew are on top of the Alien Arena tournament. So yeah, you guys can expect the same coverage from uh, myself and all the other awesome crew at GameStar for all the games, so TF2, um, Dota 2, and League of Legends. In fact, I may even do a Dota 2 broadcast or two. We'll see. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how people feel about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. been looking a little bit more at Dota, just as an interesting, because it's, it's cool. The game's cool. It's very different. I would never get into it nearly as much as LOL, but I have nothing but nothing but kind words and respect for Dota 2, which is, I think, good, because people that randomly hate on games aren't very exciting. So that's happening. There's some more stuff happening in the next few months, and because keep, people keep asking about it, or if the one guy keeps asking me about it, shout out to whoever that is, I think it's Emphatics or something. Some dude always messages me on the client, he's like, what's going on with the server? I don't know what's going on. As soon as soon uh, As soon as I know, you'll all know. Um, because there'll be a giant announcement made, of course. But um, basically, I can tell you what it was said at the meeting, um, which you can go back a few vlogs ago, I think, from memory, and uh, and listen to that. But basically, they uh, seemed very keen about putting one in, and hopefully it'll be soon. And I I can say soon is probably like within six months, style soon. But that's that's not any confirmation or anything like that. I don't, again, I don't have any additional information at all. Um, that I am or am not allowed to tell you. All I have is information I've already been given, and I'm allowed to tell you all of that. And yeah, that's it. So within six months, hopefully, but we'll see. 
Um, certainly if it does arrive within that time frame, that would mean a lot of changes to League of Legends in Australia, which would be awesome. So yeah, um, I guess look for really exciting things. Like we had a really busy month in July, or like last few weeks of July. We've had through four major four major League of Legends tournaments in two weeks. We had Cytus G, ESC, ESG in winter and M Wave two. Just bam, four tournaments in 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 yeah, in two weeks, which was nuts. Two in Melbourne, two in Sydney too. Actually two in Melbourne, one in Sydney, one online. Because <laughs> online tournaments are obviously not just in Sydney. Anyway. So yeah, and then um September, October. It's looking pretty exciting too. So the next three months are going to be pretty ins like already insane with oh, what's being planned. Again, I can't tell you these things. Um, but yeah, both ESL stuff and Alien West stuff should start in August. So you can look forward to that. Oh, sorry, yeah, in August. And then September should be cool as well. And then beyond that, I don't even know. And it's already looking at, already shaping up to be a pretty insane six months. So yes, I'll be busy. Look out for me. I think uh, I've been really busy anyway. I had that massive week and then this tournament as well. Upgrading the internet should happen soon, which will be good. Improve a lot of things. And yes, I don't know. I, I don't pretend that I get breaks uh, anytime soon, which is good. That's how I like it. I'm happy being busy, which... Uh, I think means that things are happening, which is always good. I guess that's it for this vlog. I actually thought I didn't have anything to talk about. And there you go. It's about 10-ish ten, minutes of things from me. Fantastic. Anything else I want to talk about? Hmm. Not really. Not really. I think I'll talk about it next week. This week should be a little bit quieter. I don't remember any tournaments being on. <laughs> which is good. Okay, I'm done. Alright guys, my name is Patient. I'm signing up for this week's vlog. I know it's Tuesday again. Sorry if this is up late. I'll try and work on the whole sticking to the schedule I set for myself thing. Kind of bad at that. But that's okay. We'll get better. Um, I think I'm going to do all my vlogs before face check as well. I think that's a good idea. Like Monday morning, just if it's a land that's been on, tournament's been on, just straight after it in the morning. And face check leading up to what we talk about. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. Kind of preface it a little bit. Anyway, never mind. Thinking out loud, things you don't need to know. Bye, guys. I'll see you later.